Hello Capricorn. I know, I know it's been a hot minute. And, but I'm going to do a little check-in for you. One of your cards. Okay, let's just say that just kind of flew out. Um, but, we're going to do your mini check-in. And I got you and Aquarius and Pisces to try to get done today. There goes go the dogs. Hold that thought for a second. What? No bark? No bark? No bark? Man, you must be the lucky charm. Usually when the mailman comes, the bark goes on. Anyhow. Keep in mind, this is a general read. This is not going to be for everybody. This is not a personal one-on-one -on -one reading. If this doesn't resonate with you, check your other placements. You might find yourself there or wait on the next one or even check past readings. But you got the world card. World card is a Capricorn card. Um, the world card is complete, completion. Now, in a couple of days, we do have that solar eclipse coming in. So, over this weekend, this coming weekend, solar eclipse in Aries. This is, you're wrapping some things up at this time. And you're starting, it feels like you're starting a new chapter. You're wrapping some things up. It's almost like Capricorn saying, I need to move forward, but I need to tie up the loose ends. I need everything packaged in a nice neat little bow so I could put it away so I could start something new and fresh that's just kind of what I'm getting here uh, let's see what else we get here I'm kind of feeling minology for you guys just simply because it is the energy it is the uh, the new moon and Aries full full solar eclipse coming up okay let's see what we've got going on here you're very close to achieving your goal that's what we're talking about Capricorn uh, you're you're trying to wrap things up. You're close to the end. You're in a you're in the final stages of something that is going to set you up for your next phase. You're so close to getting what you want and achieving your goals. A fiery climax of oh my, this is full moon, but even though we're on a new moon, but this is in Aries. Okay. That and let me tell you this solar eclipse is the independence it is the get up and go it is the starting new this is new 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 very new very strong very powerful eclipse here and you're in the i mode you're not in the we mode you're in the i mode you're very independent at this time you're striving you're reaching goals you're wrapping things up and as this um, eclipse approaches you are closing chapters you're starting fresh you've got new ideas that that match is lit for you guys honey that match is lit and you are you're in you are achieving goals that may have taken you a hot minute to get there to me, this is not necessarily feeling like a romantic reading for Capricorn, which I'm not surprised. Other signs, it was all about relationships and shit like that. This doesn't feel that. This feels more of maybe even life in general, big things, big visions. This could be about career and business. But I feel like in life in general, you're wrapping a lot of things up in a nice little package. You're tying up loose ends. You're saying, I can't have this loose end or that loose end. I want to move forward with a clean slate. I've learned my lessons. 
That's the Capricorn I'm talking to. I'm talking to the one that's like, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm on the move. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I am so ready for this. That's the Capricorn that I am talking to today. Something funky with my hair this morning. I don't know what that is. Anyhow. Okay. Okay, show me that Capricorn energy for their check-in. That is only almost a month late. Yep. But timing is fluid. This apparently this is the right time for this reading to come out. I'm a Capricorn. I'm busy, busy. I'm tying up loose ends on some things too myself. Okay. I shit you not. The world. Got the world card coming out again. That is that wrapping up and tying up the loose ends. That is closing something out here that you may have avoided or might have been had felt blocked. So you might have felt a lot of blockages in trying to tie up these loose ends or trying to move forward. And But this is telling me, I don't want to deal with this past anymore. I want to tie up the loose ends. I want to close this out. I'm done trying to deal with this. You're putting those words up saying, no, I don't want to deal with this past anymore. The Wounded Warrior. Nine of Wands. That makes total sense to me. That is saying, you're putting up a block. You're protecting yourself. You're tired. You're worn out. You are so tired of dealing with whatever this is from the past. You are so done with it. it just, that's just what it feels like. You're tired of it. You're tired of the routine. You're tired of lack of change. You're tired of lack of progress. And you are ready to expand. Um, and you're ready to move your heart space forward in whatever that means. Whether that is relationships. Or if you are following a certain passion. Because this eclipse is about that. It's like opening up to that passion. Lighting that match and reigniting that passion. Now this totally makes sense for you Capricorn. Because let me tell you something else about the solar eclipse. That we have Chiron that is conjuncting the solar eclipse. Chiron is the wounded healer. Dealing with past pain and suffering. Past hurts. Uh, from this life, previous lives. Healing them up. And taking those lessons forward. But no, not the baggage. Okay. Just what you've learned. I've learned from this. I'm leaving that behind. I'm not taking any of that baggage with me. But I've learned my lesson. So I don't have to repeat this. Whatever this is. Judgment. Answering the call. I'm rising up from the ashes. This is really good. You're... I'm feeling a Capricorn and has really taken a deep dive into their life in general. Everything from love, relationships, family, to finances, business, career, everything. It, I, this is not simply an overhaul in one particular area of life. And some of you are making changes in regards to your physical health routines, like almost like I need to regenerate my health. I need to eat better. I don't know where the, this is not necessarily in the cards. This is just an intuitive hit that I'm getting. Like I need to diet. I need to lose weight or I need to do, I need to eat better. I need to lower my cholesterol. I need to get away from the junk food. I need to get away from the soda, pop, Pepsi, Coke, whatever it is you call it in your neck of the woods but those soft drinks i need to get rid of that i need to make changes i need to get it outside now we are getting in at least in the united states i know australia you're moving to you're into fall moving towards colder weather 
United States Northern Hemisphere, we are moving, we're in spring and setting forth to truck ahead towards summer, warmer weather. Of course, we've got rain, rain, rain here. We've had about three and a half inches and I even have water coming in my basement. There's flooding around here right now. But regardless, this is about, I mean, a total overall, overhaul of your life. Now, we do have the Two of Cups here. That is a partnership so, um, that is closing something out that might be a partnership. Making that decision. Strategize. It's like, <coughs> this here is like saying, as the King of Swords, declaring that I'm done dealing with this old situation, this old partnership. It could be a friendship. But it's an agreement. It's a partnership. This is my cup. This is your cup. We come together as a partnership. This for so, yes, a lot of you. This is going to be romantic. I shouldn't have opened my mouth earlier in this reading, but you're closing something out and leaving a friendship, a partnership, or something behind that held space in your heart, and you are declaring, "I am not dealing with this anymore." Wheel of Fortune is time past, progressing forward. So this is something that, a situation that you've held on to, and Capricorn saying, I held on to this far too long. I need to grease that wheel. I need to move forward. I need to heal myself. I need to move my heart space forward and regenerate it. I, I've been down and out. I'm rising up again. I am healing myself. It's what you're telling me. Um, a lot of readers, I'll say this right now, a lot of readers will look at that judgment card and say, oh, <coughs> the person hurt you and they're moving back towards you and you're, you're reconciling. Not this reader. Uh, this is about you renewing your own self because you have a closure here. You're not reopening that door. That Knight of Cups is moving towards the future. And time is passing and there is a block here. So you are blocking that from the past. You're saying, I'm not dealing with this anymore. I'm closing this off. I'm tying up the loose ends so I can heal and move forward and lift myself up again. I'm answering a sir. You're answering a particular call. Something is calling to your heart space here very shortly. Some of you are already feeling it. Some, some of you, all, you know what this is. And you're making room for it. Knight of Pentacles. This is slow moving. This is not a plan that is just going to pop out and happen overnight. This is something that has been taken some careful planning. And I feel that you've taken a lot of time to it's taking you time to tie up these end, loose ends and you are moving forward cautiously but at the same time like very methodically you're, you're everything's very thought out how you are moving forward but it's very steady it's progress nevertheless very capricorny one little tiptoe at a time Let's see, I'm, I'm avoiding the minefields as I move forward. Then we got the Ace of Cups here. For some of you, could this be a renewal? Maybe. I'm trying to steer away from that. Some of you may reopen that door. Spirit just says, I gotta say it. I got to put my own personal feelings aside and I just got to say it. Some of you is reopening a door, but very cautiously. Time has passed since the wounds and the pain had occurred. You kind of block that pain out. That tying up the loose ends might be dealing with the old pain in order to see if that match could be relit between you and somebody else. Others of you, you're saying, I'm healed. I'm answering the call. I'm answering to the call of something new and fresh. You take your pick. Okay.
new deck if you're not subscribed to my true crime channel then you would not have seen this new deck yet um Jacqueline from across the pond in the UK had this deck I've been searching for it for a long time because another true crime reader uses this and I've been like man I really like it it's a playing card deck um and she had this deck and she didn't even know I wanted it or was looking for it. And she sent me a message through my website, which is mysticgen.com. And she says, I've got this deck. It's sitting on a shelf collecting dust. I don't use it. And she says, I needed, I wanted to go to a good home. And I graciously accepted it and I got it a couple days ago. Monday, in fact. Two days ago. And, you know, and I told her, I've been looking for this deck. I didn't know the name of it. I've searched Etsy. I've searched everywhere. Okay. What are, I want to know a little bit more about this closure. Tying up these loose ends. We have Queen of Diamonds and Eight of Clubs. Okay, essentially, this could be, some of you, I'm going back to job, you might have been in a partnership with somebody, your work, um, your day. Your day-to-day -day routines, the people that you would deal with every day, um, business deals, business partnerships. You know, there's something that you are wrapping up here. Um, <clears throat> and you are making certain plans. It's almost like you want to kind of shut down any romantic ideas. But there's something in the future you're going to be dealing with anyhow. Um, and let me go back to that for a second. That could be, if it's not romantic partnership, for some of you, this is not. This is more of, this could be, again, following your heart, something that speaks to your heart, a business, an idea, um, work-related, something in your life that you've always wanted, that it's always been in your heart, now is like it's something is rising up to the surface again and you are embracing it. Um, uh, for some of you could actually meet somebody through work, job, business related, that type of thing, your day-to-day -day routines. If the, if this is a if there's a new romantic partner on the horizon, which I feel there is for a lot of you Capricorns, you're dealing with your work. I see that tying up loose ends, chasing after goals, achieving achievements here, increase in finances. I see that the wheel's spinning. But along your journey. The universe is throwing a monkey wrench into your business plan and throwing a romantic partner potentially. Something that you is going to start out as being very flirtatious. Um, this is a, a group opportunity through a group. It could be even a social group, but I feel it's related to business. Okay. Um, So it feels like you're closing out some other partnership. You might, some of you might even be, cha you might be changing jobs. And in a new workplace or a new social group or online community that's related to your profession, your skill set or something, you're, it's like you're changing that up. And through that change, as you go through that change, there is something on the horizon. 
And, so, and some of you, as far as romantic partnerships, you're closing out something that you were working hard on. You may even have put your career on the back burner. Like if you're a business owner like or content creator like me or something like that where you work for yourself, you might have slacked off in your business plan and was pursuing somebody that was more of a flirt, not a not wanting commitment. And you're tying that up. You're saying, well, this is no longer for me. This is just an anchor holding me in place. And I need to lift that anchor. This is not where I want my anchor to be. You're lifting that anchor. You're moving forward cautiously. Who's to say that this person is not going to try to hold on to you? That's why you're moving. I'm just saying. Some of you, as you're trying to move forward away from that and tie up those loose ends, they may be rising up and saying, Oh, I'm going to answer this call now. Capricorn's leaving me. I need to hold on to them. But just be mindful of that. And I was also told, also remember, a, le um, a leopard doesn't change its spots. Okay? If, some, if, if somebody from the past re tries to keep you in place, remember that. A leopard doesn't change its spots. Okay. I want to know more about where your heart space is moving. Over here. Like, is I feel a renewal of your heart, of your energy, self-love, love for others, love for life. A renewal in love for life. And... It's taken you a hot minute to get here, but you're there. And this eclipse, I think, is going to propel you forward. Okay. We have the Queen of Spades. Um, she represents an X. Yes. Um... Or a false friend, divorced. Let me see what else comes up here. Got the Eight of Cups, which represents good times. It represents um, balancing, harmony. It's also a card of justice. This is, and then we got the Seven of Diamonds, which is a money card. It's also about earned success and your rewards. So through all your hard work, you, I, I said I already saw this over here. You're close to obtaining your goals, right? Through hard work, success is at your fingertips. But I feel you still have a nemesis here. Um, I feel like that X, but the question is why, and I hate to say this Capricorn, but they're seeing your success and that is very, very attractive to them. They want to be able to reap the benefits of your success. Boom. That's it in a nutshell. You keep on doing you, Capricorn. You keep on moving forward. You're achieving goals. You're going places. You're, ri you're rising up the rungs of that ladder. Somebody here that you're leaving behind, you're tying up those loose ends, is seeing this. They're saying, oh, no, I can't let Capricorn go. And they want to be an anchor holding you in place. They want to ride on your coattails. They want to benefit from your hard work and share in your rewards that you earned. Yeah. So just keep that in mind with whoever from your past that you're dealing with. That you've we're closing off. Daisy, leave her alone. 
that you were closing off and you were tying up those loose ends, don't let those loose ends come untied. Make sure it's knotted. Okay, that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I love you, and I'll see you next time, whenever that'll be. Okay, I keep telling myself I need to get more consistent with this particular channel. I've got two other channels that I'm working on. One of them is a vlog, which is more about door dashing and food delivery. Then I got my true crime. But anyhow, I'll see you in the next video. Love and light.